So in this video, I'm going to be solving these inequalities. The first thing that we're going to do with each of these is sketch the rational function. And then uh, identifying the right-hand side, this will be y equals 3, y equals minus 2, etc. Draw the horizontal line, find out where that intersection point is, and then we can interpret the solution to the inequality. Okay, So that's going to be my method through for each of these. So let's start with the first one. So, vertical asymptote at minus 7. Crossing the x-axis at 5 halves. Crossing the y-axis when x is 0 at minus 5 sevenths. So, somewhere like there. And horizontal asymptote, divide top and bottom by x. Uh, so, we're going to get uh, 2 take away 5 over x over 1 plus 7 over x. So as x tends to infinity in either direction, we're going to get y equals 2. OK, so the curve is tending towards those two asymptotes going in that direction there. So something like this. And here's the rest of the curve up there. So then we've got y equals 3. So we've got a horizontal line, y equals 3 there. So we see that there is one point of intersection that I am interested in. So I need to find where that intersection point is. So I need to solve the equation 2x take away 5 over x plus 7 equals 3. So multiply it by the x plus 7. So 2x take away 5 is 3 lots of x plus 7. So 2x take away 5 is 3x plus 21. So Subtract 2x from both sides, subtract 21 from both sides. So this point here is uh, minus 26. OK, so now interpret the inequality. Where is the graph below y equals 3? Well, it's below it here for that region. And it's below it all of there, OK, for all of that. So the only bit that it's not is in here, okay, between minus 26 and minus, 20, and minus 7. So, um, actually, I should, shouldn't have uh, curved that line, should I? I mean to curve this one. So all of that and all of that, okay? So our solution to the inequality is x is less than or equal to minus 26, OK, that region. Or x is greater than minus 7. Now, of course, you can't have greater than or equal to minus 7 because we can't be equal to because that's where the asymptote is. OK? So once you've sketched everything, interpreting the inequality is pretty straightforward. OK? So let's go on to number 2. Um, so, number two, we've got 4x plus 9 over 3x take away 1 is greater than minus 2. Right, so we've got a vertical asymptote of 1 third. We have um, it crossing through the x-axis at minus 9 quarters. We've got it crossing through the y-axis at minus 9. And we're going to have a horizontal asymptote. Uh, by this point, you might have already caught on that you can, you know, when you divide through by x, you'll, you'll get the 4 over 3, won't you? So it's at y equals 4 thirds. So I don't need to write it out anymore. I mean, I would, if, if I was in an exam, I probably would still write it out um, just to kind of show the working. So y equals 4 over 3, dividing top and bottom by x. And so the curve must do something like this. And that part there. So then you've got y equals minus 2, which is going to be a horizontal line there. And you've got this one point of intersection. So we need to solve the equation to work out where that point is. So 4x plus 9 over 3x take away 1 is equal to minus 2. 
So multiply up by the 3x, take away 1. And we're going to get 4x plus 9 is equal to minus 6x plus 2. Add the 6x to both sides. Subtract 9 from both sides. And we get x is minus 7 over 10. So this point here is minus 7 over 10. So where is the graph above minus 2? Well, you can see it's above it here, so for that region. And it's above it there, okay, so for that region. Uh, for this part, okay, from there um, down to there, that part, it's uh, clearly below. Okay, so the region that I'm looking for is x is less than minus 7 tenths. Less than because now we've got this uh, strict inequality. Or x is uh, greater than 1 third. Okay, so they are my solutions. Okay. Let's have a look at number three. So the denominator is at nine quarters. Uh, it's crossing through the x-axis at five. So x equals five uh, will be further along my x-axis. Okay. Um, now, it's crossing through the y-axis at uh, when x is 0, so at minus 5 ninths. So minus 5 ninths, so maybe something there. And uh, the horizontal asymptote, well, let's do the division. So 5 over x take away 1 over 4 take away 9 over x, so divide and tumble by x. And so you can see it's at minus 1 quarter. So minus a quarter um, is going to be in here, something like that. So this is going to be y equals minus a quarter. And so the curve does something like this. And like this. So that's my curve. And y equals 10 is going to be somewhere up here. And so we've got this one point of intersection there. And so I'm interested in working out where, what that point is. So I need to solve the equation 5 take away x over 4x take away 9 is equal to 10. So multiplying up by the 4x minus 9, I'm going to get 5 take away x is equal to 40x take away 90, expanding it straight away. Add the 90 to both sides, and we're going to get 95, and add the x to both sides, so 41x. So x is going to be 95 over 41. So where is the graph above 10? Well, the only region that it's above 10 is in here, for that region there. So the region in question is greater than 9 quarters, but less than or equal to 95 over 41. OK, and so that's the region that satisfies question 3. Right, so finally, number four. So uh, the denominator is zero at eight ninths. So x equals eight ninths. It's going to be crossing through the x axis at minus three fourteenths. So somewhere like here. And it's going to be crossing through the y-axis when x is 0, so 3 over 8.
Now, as for the horizontal asymptote, divide top bottom by x, so we get 14 plus 3 over x and 8 over x take away 9. So the horizontal asymptote is at 14 over minus 9, so minus 14 ninths. And so the curve must do something like that and that. So then um, y equals minus 5 would be somewhere down here. One point of intersection. So I need to work out that point. OK, so uh, 14x plus 3 over 8 take away 9x is equal to minus 5. We want to solve that equation. So 14x plus 3. Um, 8 times minus 5 is minus 40. And minus 9x times fi minus 5 is plus 45x. So add the 40 to both sides, so we're going to get 43. And then uh, 45x take away 14x is 31x. So x is 43 over 31. So then where is the graph below y equals minus 5? Well, it's below it there for that region. So the region in question is x is greater than 8 ninths, but less than 43 over 31. Okay? And so that is how we can solve each of these inequalities.